What's up, folks? Shay Steinhauer here. And tonight I'm talking about Dave Meggett. Now, Dave Meggett was a hell of a damn kick, a kick and punt returner. And today he was found, he was sentenced to 30 years in jail. 30 years in jail. This guy played for the Giants, the Patriots, and the Jets. He retired in 98. He started his career in the Giants in 1989. I started watching this guy when he was with New England from 95 to 97. Um, you know, hell of a kickoff and punt return guy. You know, lots of yardage. He played in the Super Bowl. Uh, I believe it was Super Bowl 35 uh, with Green Bay, New England. You know, hell of a damn talent. And, yeah, he just wasted away. I, I, I don't understand these guys that come in here. You know, they make millions and millions of dollars. And even back then, it was a lot of money. You know, him, you got Lawrence Taylor. You know, come on, man. Lawrence Taylor's one of the greatest linebackers ever played a game. I mean, if not the greatest. I mean, man. Unbelievable guys. And, you know, he just, these people, I don't, I just don't understand how they can sit there and just, just fuck their lives up. Yeah, it, it don't make any sense to me. I mean, you know, you get all this money. You get the parties, you get the drugs, and all the temptations that are there. I understand that. But, I mean, they, they just get no direction or something? I, am I missing something here? I mean, yeah, they put their bodies on the line and all this and that. But 30 years, they make it? I mean, come on, man. I, was, I used to play that man on, on Blitz, NFL Blitz, back in the day. They used to play it in the arcades. I mean, him, Corey Dillon. I mean, that was a that was a hell of a team. Bledsoe was quarterback. I mean, that, that was a hell of a damn good team. And these guys, you know, they just faded out, or you know, just they just they disappear, or you know, they just cannot. You can't take the football out of them for some reason. If the, once they're gone, they get too old, or they retire, they always end up, always something stupid. I mean, it's stupid. Sexual conduct and uh, robbery, 30 years? Come on, Dave. That's ridiculous. And LT, you know, with this, with his bullshit, I mean, is it really necessary? I mean... Don't these guys, can't these guys find something else to do? I mean, you know, look at Kurt Warner. He was just on Dancing with the Stars last night. Me, I don't see that man. You know, he's a Super Bowl champion. He played in the Super Bowl. He's, you know, he's got, he's got kids and, you know, he's like the little round role model. You don't see him sitting there popping off, getting in trouble you know, being crazy. Uh, it just baffles the hell out of me. I, I, I really don't, I don't have any words for it. You know, these guys, they just got no, they got no discipline. You just come out of college, you're great. And all of a sudden, you know, you just, <laughs> here's a million dollars. Go go spend it the way you want to spend it, and you know play the game. And but when the game's over, there's nothing for them. There's nothing. There should be some kind of counseling or something in the NFL for players that after they played the game, you know the big the, the greats that played the, the NFL and and really actually all players, no matter if you're seventh round, you know mystery relevant. Or, you know, first round pick. I mean, there's got to be something for these guys to sit there and do. So where after the game is over, 
they have something that, you know, besides crappy investments and going to jail. I mean, does anybody, I mean, is anybody buying the uh, Maurice Corrette, Corrette thing? I mean, they're fucking, really? Going, I think he's playing in the, in the UCFL or something. I mean, does he actually think he's going to get another shot? I mean, that guy, he was a beast coming out of Ohio State. And he did jail, you know. I mean, not everybody, you know, not everybody can be like, well, you know, success story. You know, not not everybody can be like that. I understand that. I just, you know, it it, 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 it just, it's weird. And, and, you know, it's sad. It's sad. You got guys, you know, dying, you know, stupid shit. People partying and just, you know, I don't know, man. I mean, like I said, Dave Maggot, man, he... He was a, a hell of a player, and he just, you know, gets caught up like a lot of them old stars. I mean, they, they, he get caught up in the wrong shit, and yeah, that's the end of it. And I don't know, man. I, I can't wrap my mind around why they do the shit that they do. I mean, I'll tell you, I mean, if I was playing a game, I had a million dollars, yeah, invest that shit, put that shit aside, you know, hide it in your backyard, you know. Dig that shit up for later, you know. Oh, I don't know, man. I, it don't make sense to me. I don't understand it. And, you know, why athletes act so stupid. So stupid. You know, I just felt like I had to come out here and you want to put this as a little rant or whatever. You know, it's more of like a why. You can't ask these players yourself. You know, but everybody's got their own different opinions. And, you know, I'd like to hear what you guys think. You know, LT, I mean, getting caught up with all that bullshit. I mean, come on. Dave Maggot now and Maurice Collette. And, I mean, he, man, come on. So let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, comment. Let me know what you guys think on this. Jay Steinhauer, peace.